Hey Bisons! I'm Ella! And I'm Piper, but I don't need an introduction. And welcome back to Bison News. Hey, are you McDonald's? Because I'm loving it. Do you like Star Wars? Well, actually... Because you're Obi-Wan for me. Um, that's weird. Well, you started it. So, first thing we're gonna do is the Keisha's people. Let's hear from those kids. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. <laughs> Colin, what's your favorite thing about the Bison News show? Keisha's people. Understand. <laughs> what's your favorite subject in school? Probably PE. PE? Yeah. What's your favorite subject in school? Music, because I love Miss Lemons. Is she your favorite teacher? Yes. Mm, wonder why? Because she's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like any academic classes? I have no idea what that is. Oh, it's like math, language arts. Do you like any of them? I understand. <laughs> What's your favorite subject in school? Um, science. Why is it science? Because we get to do experiments. Experiment? What type of experiments? Floods. Floods? Like, do you read? Yes, I read a lot. Every time there's like a break during class, I like pull a book off the top of my desk and I read. How many books have you read this year? A lot. <laughs> do you like the library teacher? Yes, yeah, she's really nice, Miss McGee. Miss McGee? Uh huh. Is she your second favorite teacher? Um, I have to say my second favorite teacher is Miss Tanner. What's your favorite thing about school? My favorite thing about school is library. Library? And science. And science? You like to read? Yep. And you like to do chemical stuff? Uh huh. <laughs> Thank you, Mia, for coming. You're welcome. Time for math. Oh, okay, I don't want to hear about math. I'm so good at algebra, I could replace your x, and you ain't even know why. <laughs> you know, you're supposed to turn off the camera now. <laughs> we're Anna Grace and Maddie, and we're back with not history, not science, but math. Did you know that zero is the only number that can't be represented in Roman numerals? Yeah, and seven is the most popular favorite number. That's because it shows up a lot in human culture and is arithmetically unique. Why even study algebra? Finding x is only valuable if you're a pirate. Arr, yeah, I see. <laughs> I failed mathematics so many times, I lost count. I get the point, like decimals. Oh, ha-ha. <laughs> ha. Ha. Are you made of copper and delirium? Because you are QT. And that brings the science. Sonnenberg, the science guy. Jordan, 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 Jordan! Welcome to science, Grace and Zach. Hey Grace, do you know hydrogen is the first element on the periodic table? It has an atomic number of one. It is highly flammable and is the most common element found in our universe. <sighs> oh! Got you with the element of surprise. Did you ever hear that joke about the elements? Yeah, I slapped my knee on that one. Oh, she gets it. Since February is Black History Month, we wanted to honor it. And our school would like to make a special presentation on it. Hi, I'm Rayleigh. And I'm Justin. Do you know who Oprah Winfrey is? Yes, but do you know her actual name is Oprah? Oprah, Oprah was just a name that was stuck. Really? Really. She was the first African American woman to be a billionaire. Cool. I wish I was a billionaire. Here's some Oprah history. She was born in Kosciuszko, Mississippi. And her birthday is January 29th, 1954. And she is 63 years old. Ever since she was 15 years old, she's kept a diary recording every day of her life. Wow, that's a huge commitment. It sure is. Her modern day life consists of her hit talk show and, and complete fame. Lights, camera, action, the whole shebang. That's all the Oprah history we have for you today. Happy, Happy Black, Black History, history Month. Month. Booker Talia Farrell Washington was born in Halesford, Virginia on April 5, 1856. Booker T. Washington was an educator, orator, and advisor to the presidents of the United States. He was born into slavery and ended up being one of the voice and advocates to the slaves of America in the late 1800s through the early 1900s. In 1881, he founded the Tuskegee Institute. This is a black school in Alabama that was devoted to training teachers. About 20 years after he founded the Tuskegee Institute, he was behind the formation of the Negro Business League, a league which promoted business for African Americans. In the early 1900s, he was an advisor to Theodore Roosevelt and William Taft. In 1901, he wrote a book, Up From Slavery. 
It was about his life as a slave and his rise to be one of the most influential African Americans. He died 14 years after writing his book in 1915. He was 59 years old. Happy Black History Month to everyone, but especially to Aretha Franklin. Aretha Franklin was known for the way she combined church music with pop, creating gospel music. Aretha Franklin was born on March 25, 1942, and is currently 75 years old. She began to sing at the age of five. Aretha started out singing in her father's church choir. Then, because of her dad, she was discovered and signed with Columbia Records in 1960. Aretha sometimes was able to perform with the Soul Stirrers. And began to have a crush on a boy named Sam Cooke, who was a part of the band. He was a successful pop singer, so Aretha wanted to become one too. Aretha wanted to sing pop music instead of church music. She found church music boring. Because her father was so religious, he immediately said no. Aretha didn't care. She had a plan. Aretha offered to sing at the church one more time. When her solo, Amazing Grace, came up, she changed it a bit. She upped the tempo and got everyone excited. From then until now, she still takes beautiful songs and makes them fun and upbeat. Nowadays, she doesn't really sing about church or gospel things anymore. But she will always keep that innocent church feel in all of her songs. Some of her hits you might know are Rockabye Baby, Since You've Been Gone, Jump To It, I Say a Little Prayer, and A Rose is Still a Rose. Thanks for watching. Did you know, according to the Foreign Language Institute, Je Japanese is the hardest language for an English person to learn? Whoa, what's the easiest? Dutch. I should probably go learn that. Hey, if you could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. Ew, you're gross. Don't be mean. <laughs> now to Nicole with our weather. One time I tried to catch fog, but I missed. <laughs> this week's weather is supposed to be mostly sunny. The high is 66 and the low is 52. Looks like spring is coming in fast. This week's special guest is Mrs. Jores. Which means you have to try and say as many verbs as you can in 20 seconds. What am I doing? Miss McGee, okay, yes. in 20 seconds. How many verbs can you name? Ready, set, go. Laugh, live, love, run, leap, gallop, gallivant. Trigger, cry, emote, run, laugh, I already said laugh, jump. Uh, what's a verb? Uh. Run, jump, uh, leap, lift, leap, uh, jog. Run, jump, jog, uh, look, uh, lift, uh, uh, run, uh, I said run again, Coach B, uh, 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 drive? Um, um, stop. Uh, um. <laughs> Is go a verb? Giggling. Verbs! Sing, jump, read, write, paint, draw, analyze, interpret. Transfer, uh, turn, do, think, react, film, walk, run, dance, skip, hop, give, get, go, um, let's see, um. Uh Well, that's it for this episode. See you next time. And remember to keep charging through failures and stampeding through challenges.